Two and a half years after a revolutionary wave shook the Arab world, none of the countries which experienced uprisings are enjoying stability today. Some of them are struggling to stay the course for democracy, while others are experiencing deja vu with yet more riots. Police in Tunisia, for instance, have been using tear gas and rubber bullets to disperse protesters who want the government dissolved. Artisan Isnawi has the story. The Arab Spring captivated the world just over two short years ago. Change, democracy and new elected governments were promised in the three countries that began this wave of revolution. But what prevailed is nothing short of chaos. Almost full circles in Tunisia and Egypt and in neighboring Libya, a situation some describe as much worse than before regime change. We don't hear anything about Libya in the uh, Western press or Western television channels. What we now have is uh, different groups vying for supremacy. People are desperate now to try and put a cover on what has been created by the Libyan disaster and the fall of Gaddafi. Trends have formed. Take Tunisia. We all remember Mohamed Bouazizi, the fruit vendor who set himself on fire in December 2010. His death sparked mass protests, followed by the president fleeing in mid-January 2011. Now again, the death of an opposition leader sparked protests in July 2013. They haven't let down. Still this week, tens of thousands are on the street demanding the resignation of the government. In Egypt, a similar tune, 2011, mass protest. Mubarak, he's out. 2013, mass protest. Morsi is also out. And violence reigns with the help of the military. The fact that uh, Morsi violated human rights uh, does not justify overthrowing him. And, uh, and especially if, uh, together with the overthrow, we get more violations of human rights rather than less. UN investigator on torture, Juan Mendez there, he told RT the most worried he is, it's about countries like Libya, where the organization is denied access, but are aware of atrocities far worse than under Gaddafi. Very troublesome, because uh, we hear about uh, clandestine detention centers, uh, uh, detention centers that are run by militias that are not accountable to anybody. Still, many experts, including Mendez, expect positive change in the Arab world. It's just not clear at what cost and how long it could take.